Grace and peace. Welcome to this edition of Meditation Moment. I want to encourage your hearts today with this simple affirmation. We're in this together. Philippians 1 and 6 says, And I am sure of this, that he who began a good work in you will bring it to completion. Everything is by divine design. You are where you are because God designed it. You are with who you're with because God designed it. You work where you work because God designed it. You go to school where you go to school because God designed it. You worship where you worship because God designed it. Regardless of where you are in life, know that you're there because God designed it. Now, that doesn't mean that everything's going to go well where you are. It simply means that it's God ordained and God orchestrated. Because of that, you and I have to be content in the grace. We've got to be content in the grace knowing that it's God who has given us this opportunity to be where we are. God's given us this opportunity to be situated in the position we're in right now. Whether it looks good to you right now, think about the fact that if God put you there, that means that God is going to give you what you need to handle wherever there is. Not only must we be content in the grace, but you and I must be cognizant of the process. It is a process. God, the God who has begun a good work in us is faithful to complete it. It's a process. It has a beginning, it has a middle, and it has an end. Usually we can deal with the beginning and we can deal with the end, but it's that middle section that causes us strife, hardship, causes us pain, anguish, anxiety. But in the middle is where we need to have a heightened awareness of God and who God is. We've got to be cognizant of the process. And then finally, we've got to be confident in the work. We've got to know without a shadow of a doubt that our God is able to do all things. We've got to know without a shadow of a doubt that God is keeping us. God is holding us. Grandma, you say he walks with me. He talks with me. He tells me that I am his own. We've got to have confidence that God has us where God needs us to be in order to take us to that next level in life. Are you ready to go? Are you ready to go to that next level? Well, I tell you one thing, you're not the only one that's in the midst of something right now. Everyone else is as well. There's an African principle of Ubuntu. I am because we are. That simply means that we are in this together. Whether it's COVID-19, whether it is some other major travesty or tragedy in life, there are those that are going through it with you. So be not dismayed. Whatever betides you, God will take care of you. Have faith and be confident that God will come through. Let us pray. God, we thank you. We praise you for this opportunity to gather together, even digitally so. God, we ask now that you give us the strength that we need to make it, knowing that we're not on an island by ourselves. God, perhaps if there's someone listening today who does not know you, I pray that they would repeat this prayer after me. God, I love you. God, I need you. Jesus, come into my heart. I believe that you died for me. I believe that you live again. 
In Jesus' name we pray, amen. If you prayed that prayer with me, guess what? You're saved. It's done. Your spirit, your soul salvation is secure in Jesus Christ. If you did connect with us today, I want to hear from you. I want to know that. I want to hear from you. And so simply email us at stayconnected at sbcsw.org. Again, that's stayconnected at sbcsw.org. Org. My prayer is that the rest of your days will be the best of your days because of a renewed commitment that you made this day. God bless you and heaven shine upon you.